The Institute of Science and Technology Austria, or IST Austria, is a PhD-granting research institution located in Kloster Neuburg, 18 kilometers from the center of Vienna, Austria. Inaugurated in 2009, the institute is dedicated to basic research in the physical, the formal, and life sciences. Our scientists are organized into independent research groups, each headed by a professor or a tenure-track assistant professor. We are interested uh, in studying um, neurodevelopmental disorders, such as autism, epilepsy, and intellectual disability. And what we do exactly is to try to identify molecular and genetic bases to understand uh, the pathophysiology behind those uh, disorders. And of course, the final goal would be also to be able to identify possible therapies for those um, pediatric disorders. And of course, I cannot say that they want to treat autism in general because uh, probably 500 to 1,000 different forms of this uh, those specific, specific condition. But uh, uh, our aim is to uh, identify a molecular targets for subgroup of uh, autism or epilepsy or intellectual disability that eventually could give rise to uh, the identification of novel treatments. So I'm interested in fluid turbulence and um, a large part of our work is trying to figure out how turbulence first arises in, in our experiments. If you look at fluid flows globally, we, we spent about 10% of the electric energy um, on pumping fluids around and if we could entirely avoid turbulence we could save around 90% of these losses and so we could you know save uh, roughly 9% of the global um, electricity consumption. I'm normally not at all interested in applications. In this case it's a bit of an exception because um, this application is connected to a very interesting um, fundamental question as well. If we learn how we can avoid and get rid of turbulence, we also understand something about the conditions that turbulence requires in order to be sustained. And, and this is quite a, a deep fundamental question that we are after. So my research area is computer graphics and computational fabrication. And our goal is to come up with novel representations and algorithms that allow designing, simulating and fabricating functional objects using computer controlled output devices, such as 3D printers, for example. So I think in general, computational fabrication uh, will in the future revolutionize how we distribute, design and also fabricate uh, products. And we do a basic science here, but I believe that our algorithms will empower engineers and designers in the future uh, for very interesting applications in the area of, for example, customized products or medical implants or for designing robotic parts or in, in nanofabrication. I mean, of course, as a scientist, I'm primarily interested in having a profound impact in science. But then, uh, on the other hand, I'm also very much interested in actually having impact on, on society. You know, seeing our basic algorithms being applied uh, is of course a very rewarding experience. Our scientific service units at IST Austria provide know-how, infrastructure, technical support routine services, and training. Organized centrally, our facilities obey the principles of economy and cost effectiveness and guarantee the efficient use of well-maintained, cutting-edge equipment. For our scientific infrastructure, we chose the path that most modern research institutions um, choose. So um, we decided to centralize all our main equipment into scientific service units. So instead of um, having professors like you have it at many universities, professors that own a certain piece of equipment and then kind of um, monopolize it so that if you want to use it as a young assistant professor, you have to go there and ask them to collaborate. We chose that um, we build a central infrastructure platform that is also serviced by the institute, where then the groups can go to and use the equipment and also get the um, appropriate user training for it. We have a um, bioimaging facility that you can see in the background here, that's um, light microscopy. 
Um, we have electron microscopy, we have a preclinical facility, we have a life science facility, general support for the life sciences, we have a nanofabrication facility and a workshop that includes an electronic workshop that builds um, specialized um, equipment and then also we have a library. The Graduate School of IST Austria offers fully funded PhD positions to highly qualified candidates with a bachelor's or master's degree in biology, neuroscience, mathematics, computer science, physics, and related areas. Our single interdisciplinary PhD program enables student and faculty to freely collaborate across research groups and disciplines. IST is really one of the few places that is totally open in terms of research questions. So um, we are really a basic research institution. You can follow your interests.